Hi guys, I'm Lois and this is my 2002 Ford Transit high top van. Hi my loves, welcome to the first video in this van build series. If you don't know who I am, I'm Lois and in 2019 I finished converting a van into a camper van in just over three months. This series is going to be a seven or eight part series showing you exactly what I did to build the van from building the structure to insulating to getting it certified as roadworthy. But before I get into that though, I wanted to give you a bit of background about why I decided to do the conversion and give you some facts and figures. So a little bit about me, I'm a bit of a Jill of all trades, if that's even a phrase. I love to learn and do loads of different things, but there are a few topics that I want to become um, more knowledgeable about. And one of those areas is in investing. At the time, just before the build, I was looking into buying a property as a way of starting my investment portfolio. And if you're currently looking at buying a house or apartment, you know full well the amount of money and startup capital you need to invest. You literally need like 50 grand minimum and that was just out of my grasp. I was a 23 year old and I don't have 50 grand just sitting in my bank account. I had actually wanted to do van life for a few years and I'd watched loads of YouTube videos about it and I actually had a plan that when I turned 30 I would stop whatever I'm doing, build a van and go traveling through North, Central and South America in it. One day I needed to rent a camper van for this festival conference thing I was going to in Spain and literally the prices blew my mind. People were renting their vans for 100 to 150 euros per day. Like, let's just do the maths, okay? If you had a van and you rented it for 100 euros a day for 30 days, that's three grand. That's three grand a month. Now, it's not always gonna be fully booked for the whole month. Maybe it's only booked for half of it. In that case, your occupancy rate would be 50% but the occupancy depends on the season. In Spain, you could be pretty certain that in the months of June, July, August, and September, you have at least 80% uh, occupancy. So that's 24 days a month. So even just for those four summer months, you can make nearly 10 grand. So after doing a bit more research on how much it would cost to build, I thought, this is legit, I need to do this. So here's how it went. I built the van from December 2018 to March 2019. You'll see this process throughout the series. I actually recorded most of it, but I've also written a whole guide on how I did it. I didn't want these videos to be like 30 minutes long, so I've gone into way more detail in the guide. It's a huge 60 page in-depth guide about how I did each step and how you can replicate it. Not only that, but there's a huge product list with over 160 products that I used to build the van with links on where you can buy them in Spain, the UK and the USA, as well as loads of other resources. Click the link in the description to find out a bit more about that. But just so you know, in these videos, I will go through everything and the guide is to supplement these videos and be your kind of go-to resource for your van build. So go ahead and click that link now, I can wait. Okay, so back to how it went. I built the van, finished it, and then put it up on a site that you can rent your van. It was essentially an Airbnb for camper vans. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the site because I actually had loads of problems with them and their renters, and I don't want to recommend you to a place that just didn't give me a good experience. If you wanna know what the site was, send me an email or DM me on Instagram and I'll let you know. Anyway, nevertheless, I did get loads of bookings in the months of June, July, and August. I had three bookings in June, five bookings in July and five bookings in August. The average duration of the bookings were five days and the average price per day was just under 68 euros. I could have put it on for 100 euros a day, but as I was just starting out, I wanted to get bookings and get great reviews so that I can put the price up in the future. So let's do the math. That's 13 bookings at five days per booking and 68 euros per day. So that's around 4,400 euros in three months or 1,450 euros in one month, which is pretty decent. That's a full-time wage in Spain, which for a side hustle is actually really good. So yeah, I was pretty pleased with how things should have gone. Given that you can let an apartment for about a thousand euros a month, this was a fantastic investment. I had a lower startup cost than buying an apartment and a higher return, so that meant my yield was incredible. Yield is the amount you receive divided by the amount you paid. So for example, if I let an apartment for a thousand euros a month and I originally paid 200,000 euros for it, 
my yield is 0.5% per month or 6% per year. For a van, if I got 1,500 per month and it cost me say 15,000 to build, my yield would be 10% per month or 120% per year. By the way, this is just an example. It's not how much I actually spent on the van. To know that, you have to keep watching this series or click the link in the description to get the van guide. I actually ended up selling the van because I made some mistakes when building it and when renting it. I won't go into those in this video, but I will talk about the mistakes I made when building the van later on in the series. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to receive alerts when the next video is posted and like this video if you wanna see more of the series. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.